we have maybe over the last years started to kind of pigeonhole different people into particular professions and particular skill sets. Mm. But yet when you get out into the workplace, you need to be able to work with people. You need to be able to um, communicate effectively. You need to be able to manage teams and work in a team. And they're all those kind of what used to be called softer skills and are now more commonly referred to as power skills. But mm. to be honest, you know, way back kind of 10, 15 years ago when I was more involved in engineering programs here at UL and getting programs accredited, there were always those learning outcomes that were about managing teams and being aware of society and being aware of the people around you um, and, and making sure that, that, that engineers had those skills as well as having the technical skills, which I think is really, really important. Mm. So I, I think transversal skills are, are very, very useful. Um, I think they're things that should be part of all of our degrees and all of our undergraduates should get them. Um, I think, to be honest, they're coming to the fore now post-COVID because we've had, whatever it is, four, three, four years where people have been working in very kind of isolated ways. And mm. it's almost like we've got to bring them back together and teach people how to work with each other and work together. So we, we often talk about that kind of pie-shaped professional, that you need these broad skills along the top and then your areas of expertise. But you need both if you want to be successful.